We're excited. Um, the women um, are very laser focused. They have been all year. I think this is just sort of a group with a little bit more intensity than maybe the last few years simply because some of our top runners are seniors. And um, like anything, when you know it's not going to last forever, it becomes more important. So I think they um, they are going to take the NCAA regional extremely serious. I know people think, yeah, they're, they're ranked number one, but um, they have a lot of respect, I think, for the NCAA region and what it stands for advancing to a national championship and the whole, um, you know, the whole excitement and, and pressure and uh, respect that comes with that. So I think they're pretty confident that they're ready to go. Um, the course, <coughs> excuse me, is, is pretty user friendly. It's a series of, um, you know, you repeat one loop a few different times. Uh, and of course, a few more times for the men. Um, I think it's a very fair course. I think Zach up at Franklin Pierce has done a remarkable job. Uh, it was good last year, and I heard that there's improvements to the course this year, um, making it feel like a true NCAA regional championship, which is really important, um, you know, in all due respect to those competing and to the fans and to the sport across country. Um, on the men's side, um, it's been a constant metamorphosis of. Um, who our top seven is. Um, it can be a problem, but it can also be a good thing because we have a lot of um, people that are very similar to one another. It's just a matter of who's going to step up at the right time. Uh, we've had some bumps and bruises with, you know, of course, our captain, Dan Nolan. Um, so we have to make choices every week as to what's in their best interest versus the best interest of the team. But um, these guys have been uh, so team oriented, and that's something we've been working on because the team is young. And in our sport, where people compete individually, um, you can have it become about each one of them. And what we're trying to do, and the strength we've had year after year after year, is we're not relying on one superstar up front. It has to always be about us. So I think they have a plan that will work. Um, I think they have a lot of respect for, obviously, AIC. They ran amazingly well at the conference meet. Um, you know, we beat Bentley last year at the conference meet and they came back to beat us at the regional. So uh, it's the same guys they're returning, so we're aware of that. Um, and Roberts Wesleyan always puts together a good group, as well as Southern New Hampshire with some strong guys up front. So I think there's probably five teams going for three spots um, on the men's side. I think on the women's side it's, it's a little more clear cut. Um, but uh, we always go in like this is uh, potentially our last meet of the season and we're doing our absolute best not to make that the case.